Hello, new scientists, and welcome to another edition of Statistics for the New Social Scientist. Today we're going to talk about SPSS, and we're going to talk about how you can take variables that you've collected from a survey and reconstruct them into new variables. So here you can see that I've already got SPSS open. I click on the Data View tab, and I can see all of the responses to the Fear of Crime survey. Now, when it comes to social science research, we often want to measure things that are kind of difficult to measure, but that we know exist. So we all know that alienation exists, and we all know things like depression exist. But have you ever taken the time to think about how it is we actually measure these things? Is there some kind of scale that exists, like the one in your bathroom where you can sit on it and it can measure exactly how much alienation you're feeling? So the quick answer to this question is no. However, that doesn't mean that they don't exist, and it doesn't mean that we're not interested in knowing more about them. So in order to do that, what social science researchers often do is they'll come up with a series of questions. So maybe you've taken a questionnaire that asks you a number of different questions and then asks you to sum up your score down at the bottom. So if you've ever taken a survey like this, you probably filled out a social science survey instrument that was designed to measure some kind of social science phenomenon. So what social science, so what social scientists do is they create surveys and they ask people multiple questions and then they use the responses to all of those different questions to come up with a single score measuring some social science phenomenon. So when it came to the campus here of crime survey, there were two phenomenon that we were really interested in knowing about. The first was people's overall safety feeling. The second was their fear of crime. And now what we want to do is we want to take all those disparate, all those separate answers and combine them together to form a safety feeling score as well as a fear of crime score. So to do that, what we can do is we can go to SPSS. So in order to construct a new variable in SPSS, what we do is we click on the transform button up at the top, and then we click on compute variable. Now this window appears, and this window has two main fields. There's this one under the words target variable, and there's another one under the words numeric expression. So under the words target variable, what we do is we enter in the name of the new variable that we're going to create. So one of the variables that we want to measure was this idea of safety feeling. So I'm going to type in the words safety feeling in this field. So what we can do is we can take all of these safety feeling variables and add them together. So I take safety feeling on campus after dark and I add to that safety feeling on campus during the day. And then I add a plus sign, and then I enter the safety feeling in parking areas after dark. Okay, so if you look in the field under the words numeric expression, what you'll see are all the names of our variables that were used to measure safety feeling here at Southeastern. And if we look at the form of the mathematical expression, we see that all we're doing is taking all of those variables and adding them together. So for each person, SPSS is going to calculate the overall score. So we don't even have to calculate overall scores for everyone. In this single expression, we're going to get scores for every survey respondent in one shot. So then we click OK. And then we see this IBM SPSS Statistics Viewer. And this syntax just repeats what it is that we did. So we constructed this new variable, and here's the syntax indicating to us that everything went okay. So we go back to the data editor window, and if we scroll all the way to the right, we're gonna see a new variable has been added to our list of variables. So this one is called safety feeling. Now, as mentioned before, we should never trust software. So here I'm seeing a safety feeling of an 11 for this person. 
So what I want to do is double check that value. So I'm going to go to all the safety feeling values, add them together, and they better equal 11. So what I'm seeing here is 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So it looks like SPSS is calculating these safety feeling scores as I want it to. Now when it comes to your work, what you want to do is go through each of the responses and double check that for each one of them, SPSS has calculated everything correctly. Now, in addition to calculating a safety feeling score, we also want to calculate a fear of crime score for each of our respondents. And the way we do that is in the exact same way that we just did for our safety feeling. So we go back up to transform, click compute. So under the words target variable, we want to enter in something like fear of crime. So we're going to create a new variable called fear of crime. And this variable is going to contain all of the scores for all of our different survey respondents. We then clear out the field underneath the words numeric expression. And within this box, we enter in all of our variables that have to do with fear of crime. So we take fear of crime related to burglary, and we add to that our fear of crime related to being robbed, which we add to having our car stolen. We then click OK. Again, the statistics viewer is letting us know that everything worked out all right. We then scroll all the way to the right, and we see that for each one of our survey respondents, we now have a fear of crime score. So here I'm seeing a fear of crime score of 14. So if I go to all of the fear of crime variables and I add them up, I get 2 plus 2, which is 4, plus 3, which is 7, plus 3, which is 10, plus 1, plus 2, plus 1. So 10 plus 4 is 14. So it looks like SPSS is doing everything that I expect it to do. Again, when it comes to your own research, what you want to do is double check that SPS is doing everything correctly. So look at all those fear of crime scores, and then look at all of the responses produced by your survey respondents, and make sure that everyone's points add up to their fear of crime score. Okay, so that's it. This is how you construct new variables using SPSS.